This, this question here, right? Right, I haven't looked at this yet, so this will be fun for me. So projections. An archer shoots an arrow at 10 meters per second from the origin and hits the target at 10 minus 5. So there's 10, there's minus 5. So I already know something, that that distance there is 10 and that distance there is 5. And the initial velocity of the arrow is at an angle theta. Uh, the arrow is modeled as, and we know it's 10, modeled as a particle moving freely under gravity. So we know that this bit running along the bottom is 10 cos theta, running along the side is 10 sine theta. And we want to uh, figure out that tan theta minus 1 squared is equal to 1. So the pathway it takes is obviously this, where it hits down there. What are some of the things you know you're going to have to do? Horizontal motion. OK, so horizontally, we know that the distance is equal to the speed times the time. So time equals 10 divided by 10 cos theta, which is 1 over cos theta. I found out time because time is the bridge value that will take me between them. The vertical motion, I'm going to take downwards as my positive direction. I don't really mind which way. Downwards, up, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do downwards as my positive direction. So the acceleration downwards is 10 because they asked you to take it as 10. The initial is minus 10 sine theta because that's going up. And the displacement is 5. I'm doing it with downwards as positive, so it may be different to the way you did it. And t is this one that I've got here, which is 1 over cos theta, which I possibly will put in a sec theta. I'm not really sure. I'm, I might just leave it as t for a second and then see what's going to happen. Uh, let's just leave it as t, and then I might substitute that in in a moment. So I get that s equals uh, u t plus a half a which is 5. Sorry? My s looks like a 5. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? So this is 5. s equals, this is 5 equals ut plus a half a t squared. And we need to try and find out, we need to try and show that that thing is true. So I'm now going to substitute 1 over cos theta in here. So I get minus 5 sine theta over cos theta plus 5 times 1 over cos squared theta. So this is 5 equals minus 10 tan theta plus 5 sec squared theta. What is sec squared the same as? 1 plus tan squared. So I get 5 equals minus 10 tan theta plus 5 plus 5 tan squared theta. Divide everything by 5, or I can cancel the 5s from both sides, actually. So I've now just got 0 equals 5 tan squared theta minus 10 tan theta. Is that right? Good. And then I can divide by 5. So I get tan squared theta minus 2 tan theta equals 0, which is, I think, what the same as that thing is going to be. I just think they've done it in a different kind of way. So they wanted it to be, hang on a sec. They want tan theta minus 1 squared equals 1. Yeah? We can just complete the square. So you get tan theta minus 1 squared minus 1. So you get 1 equals tan theta minus 1 squared. Then all it wants us to do is to find the, find the possible values of theta for part b. So we square root both sides. So you get plus or minus 1 equals tan theta minus 1. So tan theta equals 1 plus or minus 1. In other words, tan theta is equal to 0 or tan theta is equal to 2. Well, if you do the inverse tan of 0, you get 0. So 63.46, 63.5, or 0 degrees. So that shows, pardon? Wasn't it 0.46, though? Oh, so 63.4. So I always like to look back at the diagram now and think, does this make sense? OK, so one of them is it's just being shot. And I'll do it in a different color. Um, 
sure what's going on here. One of them is that theta is zero, so it's being shot like this, and it just naturally falls like that. The other one is it's being shot at 63 degrees, so it's being shot like this, and is falling like that. What was hard about this question? Nothing. Why did we pick to do this one? It's nice Some to see it. Some people found it harder. Okay. And um, were there any things from the stats part of this paper as well? Okay. The thing is with stats, now that we've now we're doing normal distribution, the next two topics that there are, which is approximating a binomial distribution and like normal normal hypothesis testing, they will just come up in every single paper. So it's kind of crazy that the one lesson there'll definitely be an exam question on it. The next lesson there will definitely be an exam question on it because they're the hardest things, and we know what they like to do. They like to put the hardest things in the exam paper. Yeah. Okay.